Can someone explain this family guy joke to me? The joke isn't complex or anything. So it goes that Peter and his friends are playing Would You Rather. And this time around it's Would you rather be a hobo with a five chance of being inherited by a rich guy? Or Hitler two years before the end of WW2? Now for what I don't get. Cleveland asks him if he was a hobo. Would he be in a red or blue state? Peter says blue, but Midwestern blue, which the rest of his friends don't seem to like. What's so bad about Midwestern blue states? Is it just the cold? Weirdly enough there's a meme sub for this R. Peter explains the joke. Blue state democratic state, and relative to republican states. Democratic states tend to have liberal policies that provide more funding for programs that help the homeless. The part about Midwestern means a couple things. Perhaps the state might not have quite as much funding as, say, California. But also it just means it's frigid cold in the winter. So by Midwestern blue, Peter is basically saying you'd be in a democratic state where you're more likely to receive some sort of aid from the government. But nothing crazy. And also the winters are going to be cold as shit. Midwestern blue. Basically these are the poorer blue states. And not the rich ones like Cali or the East Coast blue states. Cold weather and lower GDP so lower amount of social programs. Michigan is a very different shade of blue than California. Midwestern blue means working class union member bloc voting blue. Not wealthy liberal ideology blue. The idea is that it just makes the would you rather question more difficult. Which is why the guys were more upset to hear it. They weren't very specific with the reasoning. Which allows the viewer to decide for themselves which adds a bit of humor. Joe did say it's cold out there. Which is one reason they could be more upset. Also the Midwestern states are more politically mixed so it's not as blue as say California would be. And you could expect to see the states flip between red and blue as we have seen in the recent past. It's because Midwestern blue states are really large, geographically speaking, and have lots of people. Take Illinois, for example. The largest swath of blue is the Chicago-Rockford area, which by itself makes Illinois blue. We have a Democratic majority in state government along with a Democratic governor. However, the rest of the state is as red as the devil's cock and MAGA as fuck. Cold weather and less money programs than a richer blue state like NY or CA. In southwest Ohio, Midwestern blue mostly means we're cool with weed and abortion access but we still think Republicans are for the working class. So a homeless black man Cleveland in this scenario isn't likely to have it easy. Midwestern blue means it's Democrat but with Trumpish tendencies. Well Midwestern blue states are pretty racist. And Cleveland is black. So inherited is like a return to slavery for him. I always heard a Midwestern Democrat is basically a Massachusetts Republican. But make of that what you will. Midwestern blue is the same as red. Shut up, Meg. My take is that Midwestern blue is where they virtue signal that they are liberal but don't really do much about it so you won't actually have a support network if you are a hobo. You'll just be in an area that claims you're welcome. Hitler is the obvious choice, I am living a life of luxury for two years. At first they ask red or blue. So you have to figure that the person asking might say yes to blue but no to red. But by answering simply blue, when the answer might be Detroit. You could be misleading people thinking blue means Los Angeles. Adding the pertinent information that it is Midwestern blue might swing the answer away for hobos that might prefer good climate above all else. Midwestern blue means there's things like homeless you have to be Christian and pray with the counselors. 
coordinators, and everyone else. A whole lot of indoctrination. In other words, and if you don't, LL kick you out. Cold in the winter. Freeze to death outside kinda cold. Midwestern blue means blue in the cities, red everywhere else. I think. Midwestern Democrats certainly don't give as many government handouts to the poor homeless as the East or West Coast Democrats do. This thread is pretty judgmental. Midwestern blue would be less liberal than the coasts. Midwest blue means you would be in Illinois and to most conservatives that's the brown eye of the Midwest. It is because conservatives hate the poor and homeless. They even force them on buses and send them to blue states. So if it is a blue state you wouldn't be grabbed and shipped off but in a red area you would get lots of hate from the people there. It's just absurdism. Don't go looking too hard for meaning here. They're comparing Hitler to a homeless guy. It's just very silly. No it's that Seth MacFarlane is an elitist douchebag. That's the joke. Midwest blue reddish purple. No one is talking about Hitler two years before the end of WW2. Ultimate power, hot babe Eva Braun. Hobo with a five chance of being inherited by a rich guy. I don't get this part. A chance a rich guy would inherit you. A homeless person? What? LMFAO Seth MacFarlane is a genius bro IDC he's a fucking genius. I'm guessing because 90 of middle America are flyover states to get to a destination on the west. Or east coast nobody ever said. Let's take a family vacation to Ohio. The Midwest blue is cold as hell. A lot of drugs. And the homeless people tend to be there because of generational poverty. By contrast the west coast ones tend to be hippies or young drug users living by the beach in the East Coast ones tend to be a little more of your street smart boxcar homeless. Is hobo like a dusty person? It's just bad writing. Not everything Family Guy does is all that good. In this case it's two writer based really more about contriving some lazy, smart sounding line. Just to create a context for people to embrace a any type of positive image normalization. Regarding Hitler. Like how they called Jews insects in another episode. Since they just like playing to that Nazi white trash crowd. Midwestern blue states are only moderately blue. Lol. As a person who lived in blue states their whole life. Homelessness is out of control. Moved to a red state. Regardless of my belief. But uh. I haven't had a knife pulled on me. I haven't had my windows smashed or my car stolen. So yeah. Take it as you will. But I think I'm done with that. That's an ungood joke. Because. Everyone's lives in America depend on politicians. No. All this bullshit the government seems to do and comes up with. If one party's president candid Tate gets elected. Everything hinges on the decision of that one individual. Human behavior dictates. The hobo will either steal and pillage if wast comes to worst or starve and die. Depending on which state the hobo is in. I.e. which party that specific state roots for. Will dictate the charity that the hobo will receive. They say a California Republican is a Texas Democrat. Do with that what you will. It's not red. Midwestern blue states are cold and don't have as much expanded Medicare and welfare as East Coast. West Coast blue states. Midwestern blue states might not have expanded Medicare to nearly everyone or have one year of unemployment benefits unlike say California. Have any of you ever heard of blue dog Democrats? Dude why do you keep trying to make Hitler work? R. Peter explains the joke. Check out Fall of the House of Usher on Netflix way better than Family Guy. Ha. Huh.